Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started, and we will leave the mannequin back there to practice for later. Dương, dương đọc bên chập đàm hỏi, hỏi dương nâng nâu đặt tục màn căng nâng nâu krau nâng xe mẹp ôi dương ai thua ca ạ nụ vọt bà to tiết bạc. So, so if everyone can come take their seat, we're going to go ahead and get started. Xong tầng ốc nha chôn mọc anh tí gà lãnh vĩnh, dương trâu chập đàm hỏi. Hỏi So this afternoon, we are going to be talking about shortness of breath. So this is when patients come to the emergency department. And we'll be going through the causes of shortness of breath and some of the treatments. And Dr. Chanta will be doing a great job of translating, and he helped me a lot with preparing the lecture and the lecture slides as well. So, first of all, we're going to learn to just understand the approach to the patient who's short of breath when they come into the hospital. We will also discuss the different causes of shortness of breath. The we'll talk about how to tell the difference between those different causes. And we'll also talk about how to recognize respiratory failure and, and um, how to prepare for those patients. So I'd like to also introduce a new term, a medical term, dyspnea. Um, this means shortness of breath, if you see this in the medical textbooks. It can also be described as just an uncomfortable feeling when you breathe, um, and the symptoms can vary from mild to severe. Shortness of breath is the most common cause of patients who have cardiac or pulmonary disease. Of patients who do have problems breathing shortness of breath, Two-thirds of the cases are caused by a problem with the cardiac or pulmonary system. So we'll start with a case. This is a 55-year-old female brought to the casualty ward for shortness of breath. Her symptoms have been for eight hours. And in this case, the nurse had gotten vital signs in the triage, and we have respiratory rate of 32, heart rate of 112, and a blood pressure of 96 over 72. บนตัวปีเนี่ยจํานื้อนี้บ้านโจลหมอกดอลมันตีเปิดเฮ้ยเอ่อ
Her initial appearance, she looks appears to be a middle-aged female. She is in clear respiratory distress and she is diaphoretic. So you have to think about what your initial actions would be. Um, in this case, we want to determine the ABCs and her mental status. And we also noticed that on the vital signs we were given, we're missing a key vital sign, which is the pulse oximetry. So we rapidly obtain the pulse oximetry. So our initial actions are intended to address the, the immediate interventions that we want to perform on this patient. And then we in this case, the pulse ox is shown in the picture, and the number that we are most interested in is 83, is the pulse oximetry. And so there are a couple interventions that we could perform right now Oxygen, IV. We could give positive pressure ventilation or endotracheal intubation since now we know how from this morning. So how many people think we should give this patient oxygen? Good, good, everybody, great. So sh her oxygen is low, right, 83. Um, so we, we do, we give her oxygen by nasal cannula and the picture, you can see that her oxygen increased to 89. So next, we want to do other things to pursue the diagnosis and figure out what we need to do next. So some of the things, the next steps are to perform a physical examination. We may want to do some introductory tests very rapidly. Some of those tests include a chest X-ray, EKG, and maybe laboratory testing, like an arterial blood gas. Arterial blood gas there. We also want to ask the patient questions. So we're going to take a history of what happened. And when we move on to the physical exam, we will start with the ABCs. ABC. The A is for airway, so these are in the order in which a problem with these, with the airway breathing circulation. A, 
So a problem with the airway will kill the patient the fastest. So when we check the airway, we are looking for obstruction. We're also listening for strider, which is a sign of upper airway obstruction. If a patient has drooling, that means they are not able to swallow their secretions. And the picture shows someone who is choking, has something caught in their throat. All of those are problems with the airway. So for the breathing and pulmonary exam, we can observe the patient's general appearance. When they first come in, we can see their position that their body is in. And we can also check to see if they're using accessory muscles to help breathe. Is the patient speaking in full sentences? If they're too short of breath, they will only be able to say a few words. Anxiety can also cause a patient to breathe fast or be short of breath. If a patient who is short of breath is also confused, we worry that their oxygen is low because hypoxia causes confusion. If they appear very tired or not breathing fast, their carbon dioxide level could be high. So when we will watch a video on accessory muscle use. So this patient um, came to the emergency department complaining of shortness of breath. You can see that he's using his abdominal muscles to help him breathe as well as his rib muscles. They're placing him on nasal cannula oxygen. So this part of the exam we've, we have done without a stethoscope, but we are examining his chest. So next, we use the stethoscope to listen to breath sounds. And it's important to check both sides of the chest for presence of breath sounds. 
suốt chẳng xong kháng đầm bấy xa đạp rốt xâm lê này ca đọt đằng hơm rồi bỏ quạt You're checking for wheezing, rails and ronkai Ca xa đạp này cứ dương xa đạp rốt mơ wheezing, rails hay nâng ronkai In the video, this young man points to the left side of his chest so one other way to investigate what is going on in the lungs is percussion. If you percuss the chest, it is hyper resonant if there is a pneumothorax. The chest can sound dull if there is a pleural effusion or fluid in the lung. Another important part of the physical exam for shortness of breath is the circulation. It's important to determine the volume status of the patient if they have too much or too little volume. Too much fluid is concerning for congestive heart failure, which we see in this picture. You can check for swelling in the legs by pushing your finger in. Jugular venous distension is ve the veins in the neck that look large. Another thing to look on the cardiac and circulation exam is to check for Paleness. So this is a sign of anemia. And we can also listen to the heart to check for murmurs, pericardial rubs, or valve abnormalities. So some of the questions that we want to ask the patient, we have a lot of them because shortness of breath is important to figure out what the cause is. So has the patient ever had this type of shortness of breath before? Do they feel chest pain or do they feel their heart racing? Do they have congestion, cough, or fever? So all of these questions give us clues to where the shortness of breath is coming from. If the patient has had black or bloody stools, you're concerned about anemia. If they're coughing up blood, tuberculosis should be on your mind. 
person bờ quạt miền cà cọ lệ chiếm dương cua cất tự đó chụp ngư độ bình It's also very important to know if the patient is pregnant or has been pregnant very recently. Vì có chỉ ca sầm khăn đấy, không ca thưa ai đăng thà tớ nè chụp ngư độ bao dương cầm bông miền tây búa, rư có miền tây búa không bê thay thay nè. If a patient has HIV or AIDS, that's important to know. Vì có chỉ ca sầm khăn đấy, không ca đăng thà tớ nè chụp ngư độ bao dương miền tục mê ruột ết. If they've had recent surgery or been prolonged immobility, you are concerned about a pulmonary embolus or blood clot. Dương có cua đăng đá ở pi thắt tá nè chụp ngư dương từ từng miên ca việc cắt hơi thay thay rư có nè chụp ngư rồi bao dương bàn sắt khăn ông sẽ phìp mũi để mình thua cho là na rồi dẹp lú đau xa dương Việc miễn ca tệ tôn chỉ mỗi nâng chụp ngư pulmonary emboli. It's important to ask if they've had previous heart, lung or kidney disease. Việc có chỉ ca xong khăn đáy, khăn nông ca đăng thả tớ nè chụp ngư bao giờ nâng thọp miễn chụp ngư bạch đôn, chụp ngư tầm rong nôm, bì môn mộc. And also trauma, especially trauma to the chest. Có đô chia ca chọn đăng ẩm pi thật tới này chúng người nên miền ca miền cụ thân ai xem xem như rồi có miền ca ba tầng cây ai xem xem chỉ biết xem ca ba tầng cây tổ lợn trùng. So the vital signs also give us a clue to the cause of shortness of breath. Sự nhà chỉ vật co ai đau nâu đầm rơi muối, ao dương kích ẩm pi mua là hai rồi bỏ cả hot. If the patient has a fever, we are concerned that they have an infection like pneumonia. Person bên này chúng người miền cầm đau là ứng phó dương ai kết tha ai chỉ mua là hết để tẹt tôn tàu nâng chúng người rồi liệt suốt. Many patients with shortness of breath have a fast respiratory rate. Nẹt chúng người hot chỉ chán miền miền chúng vạn đỏ tầng hầm về nhọp. If their respiratory rate is slow. We're worried that they are tiring out. Nè chấm ngư có ai miên ca đọ đằng hầm dứt đại dương ai kết tha cái nè chấm ngư bao giờ miên ca off cầm lăng lười hot. Taking a look at the blood pressure. À lâu nay dương mưa từ lư sầm biệt chiếm. A low blood pressure in a patient who is short of breath is concerning for CHF. A pulmonary embolus or a pneumothorax. Nè chụp ngư hot để miên sầm biệt chiêm tiếp. Cứ ai tẹt tôn tàu nâng chụp ngư pulmonary embolus miên chụp ngư sau bảy đốn rư có chụp ngư pneumothorax. Many patients with shortness of breath have high blood pressure and a fast heart rate. Nè chụp ngư hot chỉ chờ đợi miên sầm biệt chiêm cấp bùa hai nâng miên chồng vạ đồng hầm nhọp. So low blood pressure is very concerning with a patient with shortness of breath. Cảm biến sầm biệt chiêm tiếp cứ chia ca tẹt tôn nhàng nhức chỉ nhức nhọp chỉ mũi nâng nẹt chấm ngư đầm miên ca hot. So those are the vital signs that we've been used to, but I would like for you to think of the pulse oximetry as the fifth vital sign in a patient with shortness of breath. Away the young man behind the kingdom, Kuchis and Yanchi would robot, uh, Natchum Gu, the mean hot, but that pair need young or junk behind on peace and Yanchi would some can wait it, Gu, uh, come half oxygen, no clong chim. We have some of these machines here today and we'll learn how to use them. Young mean, uh, Masin Machum Noon, no tinny, how he pay need young Nung Tuka, Rian Sold on Pika Pra Pra, uh, Masin. It's important to check the pulse oximetry of every single patient that is short of breath. We check the pulse oximetry of every single patient that is short of breath. We check the pulse oximetry of every single patient that is short of breath. We check the pulse oximetry of every single patient that is short of breath. 
It's important to measure because your pulse ox has to be under 70 before you will see it on the physical exam. So you get cyanosis if your oxygen is under 70%? Uh, no no oxygen but between 70% and 100%, it's important to use the pulse oximeter. You do not want to wait until your patient gets so hypoxic that you can see it, on the, that their lips become blue. The pulse oximeter is not a perfect test. There are some limitations. The pulse ox can be incorrect if the patient is very anemic. Or if they have abnormal hemoglobin cells, like a disease like sickle cell or thalassemia. Patient movement can also cause the test to be incorrect, so they ha you have to ask the patient to be very still. It's usually placed on a finger or toe. If your finger is swollen or vasoconstricted, the, the pulse oximetry may not work. Also, if there is any paint or nail polish on the nail, it can cause the pulse oximetry not to, to work. So when we think of shortness of breath, there's there's not just one treatment for shortness of breath. So it's important to find the cause. Over 50% of the cases are caused by heart or lung problems. We can divide the, the categories into four separate groups. So we have heart problems is one group. Lung problems is a separate. One patient can have both of those problems. So another group is a mixed picture of cardiac and pulmonary disease. The cause can also be not cardiac nor pulmonary. 
มันแม่นบรรดาหมอกปีสูดได้ so we're now going to talk a little bit about how we can tell the difference between these groups ดูชนะเป็นนี่ยืนหนึ่งยืนปีถัดต้ายืนหนึ่งทุกการเย่จนปีกรมนิมวยนิมวยนั่งยังโดยมาได้ so history and the physical exam were part of the way that we try to figure out what's going on การยกประวัติจมือหนึ่งการเป็นนิดเรียงกายกู้เชี่ยววิธีได้ยืนกบงแต่เชี่ยวยืมทุกดับใบทุกการเย่จนี่ but sometimes this is very difficult and we need to use Test at the hospital to help us out. ปัญไตชวนกาลเวียมันแมนจีการเงินสูตรที่ดูชนะบ้านจีเจิงแต่แต่ทัวร์กาเอ่อทัวร์เตะเซมเซนเตียนโนตามันดีเพดดับใบช่วยเยื่อขนมกาทัวร์กาเงินนี่ So for example, differentiating between congestive heart failure and COPD can be difficult. โอเทียฮอโดยจีการเงินจุ่มงึกซอยแบบดง Hai neng jom ngư steh suat ram rai neng jeng pi ka hot ni ku jeng ka lom ba. And this is where a chest X-ray can really help us. Hai kono ka nai ni ku ka thot suat mien perjauh na kono ka cuy jeng. So on the left here we have a chest X-ray of a patient with congestive heart failure. รูปเพียบนกขังเชวนี้คือเจรูปเพียบโรบอนเนี่ยจมูกมันเนี่ยแต่มีนจมูกเศร้าอีกแบบดง With lots of fluid in the lung แต่รูปเพียบนี้บานบางหายอย่างปีสารเทียดเรียวจีจราดนกขนมสูด And on the right is a COPD patient with hyperinflation of his lungs ไฮเนวรูปขังเชวนี้คือเจรูปเออรูปขังสนามนี้คือเจรูปโรบอนจมูกเอ่อสเตียสูดรำไร So sometimes the chest X-ray can be very helpful in patients where the history and the physical exam has us a little bit confused. ดูชนะการทอดสูตรคือแต่แต่มีนอาจีการสมอาจีการเพื่อแต่แต่มีนประโยชน์ขนมการช่วยเยื้องขนมการในได้ประวัติจมูกหนึ่งการเป็นนิดเรียงกายมีนเพียบมันจะบักหลอก Other causes that fit into the pulmonary disease category. จมูกเซมเซนเตียดได้เตะตรงเตาหนึ่งจมูกสูดมีนโดยเจี๋ย So we have COPD and asthma จมูกเตะสูดรำไรหนึ่งจมูกเฮิร์ต Restrictive lung disorders where the lung is restricted Restrictive lung disorder เขียนหนึ่งบอกไปทำไมได้ Plural processes so Fluid in the the lining of the lung. จมูกสระบุดคือมีนในท่าจีจมูกได้เมียนตึกได้เดาะนกนงจนหลอดสระบุด So pneumonia, um, an infection of the lung. จมูกหลุดสุด Pneumothorax, where air gets between the chest wall and the lung. จมูกเนื้อโมตุระเดี๋ยวคือจีจมูกแต่มีนชอลดอกเนื้อจนเนื้อขนมจนหลอดสระบุด And a pulmonary emboli is a blood clot that has gone to the lung. ไฮจมูก pulmonary emboli คือจีจมูกแต่มีนดมกับหนอเชี่ยมโจลตกขนมสุด In the cardiac category, we have congestive heart failure, which I mentioned. บุลเฮดแต่เตะตรงเตือนนั่งจมูกแบกโด้งคือเมียนโดยเชี่ยจมูกซอยแบกโด้งโดยแต่ยืมมันจมูกปีขังเดิม coronary artery disease which can cause heart attacks จมูกเสียใจเชี่ยแบกโด้งได้เชี่ยจมูกมุ้ยได้อาจมันดาลออยเมียนกาแกงแบกโด้ง a patient can have problems with the structure of their heart จมเอ่อก่ออาชีพจมูกได้เตะตรงเตาหนึ่งรัชนาสมปวนหรือบ่ไปดง Their heart muscles can be dilated สักแบบสักดมไปดงหรือบ่เนี่ยจมูกอาชีพรีทอม They could have problems with the valves within their heart หรือก่ออาชีพจมูกได้เตะตรงเตาหนึ่งปะไปดง And they can have Abnormal structures of their heart muscle, where they have too much heart muscle. 
The pericardium, the sac that surrounds the heart, can become inflamed. And patients can also have abnormal rhythms of their heart that can make them short of breath. There are also many patients who have both problems, have cardiac disease as well as lung problems. Many of these patients are deconditioned. And the the arteries and veins in their lungs can become abnormal and give them pulmonary hypertension. As I mentioned, there are also causes of shortness of breath that do not have anything to do with the heart or the lung. Patients can have metabolic disorders such as acidosis. Metabolic condition. I mentioned anemia and trauma. With trauma, they can have a bruised lung or a bruised chest wall. Uh, Anxiety, panic, or pain can also cause a patient to be short of breath. And high altitude also causes patients to feel short of breath. As we do these testing in the, in the emergency department, over 50% of patients who are short of breath can, will have an abnormal chest x-ray. And EKG is helpful to determine which patients have cardiac ischemia. EKGs also help to identify arrhythmias, abnormal rhythms of the heart, or pericarditis. And if you have access to an ultrasound machine in your hospital, you can perform an echocardiography, so that's just a picture of the heart. Many times cardiologists use this as well, and we can see if there's fluid around the heart. You can also see signs of heart failure on the on an echocardiogram. Blood work or lab testing is limited in a patient with shortness of breath. The clinical exam is is worth more.
However, they can be very helpful in some circumstances, such as cardiac markers for a heart attack. Electrolytes are useful to determine if a patient is acidotic, such as the case of diabetic ketoacidosis. A white blood cell count is helpful. It will be high in infection, such as pneumonia. And I've mentioned anemia a couple of times, so lo blood loss. There's an easy blood test to check for that, right? Hemoglobin and hematocrit. And it's also important you can check to see if the patient is pregnant or not. So some of the things that we've talked about this morning and yesterday, some treatments that we want to give to a patient who's short of breath. We want to check their airway and make sure that it is open and protected. We want to make sure we check the pulse oximeter and then put a person on continuous monitoring. We want to sit the patient upright in case they have any fluid in their lungs. Gravity will bring it to the bottom. We want to get IV access and be prepared for the patient who looks as if they're in respiratory distress. The different methods of supplying oxygen to the patient are, are listed here. So our goal is to increase the amount of oxygen that the patient is getting. So instead of the patient breathing in 21% oxygen, like in this room, with a nasal cannula, we can increase it up to 24 to 35%. If a patient is very short of breath or they need more oxygen than a nasal cannula, we should use a whole mask. We'll talk a little bit about positive airway pressure, and I'll show you the picture of those, of those masks as well. They have even more oxygen. So when we're getting the equipment together for a patient with shortness of breath, the similar equipment that we went through this morning for the endotracheal intubation, 
คือสมเรปริคาต่างอ่อนนุคือเวียประหะประหัลเตอร์หนึ่งสมเรปริคาได้ยื่นเตาแก่ขนมแก่ดักบรรจุส่งอองดูตรากีอันนี้ได้ Hopefully, some of you are going to use this equipment to avoid having to intubate some of these patients. ประหัลจะยื่นไอ้ประปรสัมเพรียโดยได้ยื่นมีนอกนองนี้ดับไปชี้เวียงกาทเวอังติบัชยององโดตรากีอัล Next, we're going to go through some specific disease processes. บรรทัดประเทศนี้ยื่นหนึ่งในเยี่ยมปีดำเนินการในจุดงูมวยจุดดวนโดยแต่ยื่นบานบางไฮนี่ We'll talk about asthma and pneumonia. ยื่นหนึ่งในเยี่ยมปีจุดงูเฮิร์ตหนึ่งจุดงูรุ่นเลี้ยสุด COPD and congestive heart failure. จุดงูเตะสุดรำไรหนึ่งจุดงูซอยใบดง Pulmonary embolus, so that's a blood clot in the lung. จุดงูดมกับหนอเชียมในขนมสุด And pneumothorax is when air is in between the lung and the chest wall. Air is outside of the lung. ให้หนึ่งจุดงูพนูโมโตระคือจุดงูขจรแต่สถานะจุดหลอดปีสุดให้หนึ่งจุดเจียงตรุ่ง So we're going to take a break right now, and when we come back, we'll go through all of those diseases and By the end of today, you will be experts at treating those diseases. Okay? ยังหนึ่งทุกการสำรับบันทึกให้เป็นโจมเอายังหนึ่งในใจลมอัดอัมพีจุ่มงูต่างอ่อนนู้ให้สังคมทายังหนึ่งคลายเจี๊ยเนี่ยจุ่มเนียนสำรับจุ่มงูต่างอ่อนนู้